before you start your gyro flow, please remember to keep your hands and fingers away from the yellow rotor. When the gyro flow is in action, the rotor speed can reach up to 15,000 revolutions per minute. Please keep this in mind when handing it to a mate. Step 1. Hold the ball in your strong hand. The rotor should be facing the ceiling. Insert one end of the power cord into the hole in the centre of the rotor. Proceed to wind up the string around the rotor, the same as you would wind up a yo-yo. Keep turning the rotor forward with your thumb while maintaining pressure on the cord between your other fingers to make sure there is no slack on the string. When there is only about 4 centimetres of cord left, stop winding. Step 2. Hold the string firmly and with some force give it a quick sharp tug away from the yellow rotor as if starting a lawnmower. Ensure that you always pull the string straight out and down to minimise the opportunity for the cord to jam in between the rotor mechanism and the outer shell. The rotor should now be spinning between 1700 and 2500 RPM. Step 3. Immediately turn your hand over so the yellow rotor is now facing the ground. Begin to rotate your wrist in a slow, circular motion. Try and feel the natural rhythm of the gyro flow. Rotate your wrist to force the rotor to spin on the secondary axis. You'll feel the resistance of the rotor increase as it speeds up, and remember to hold onto the gyro flow firmly at this point. The proper motion required to do this involves absolutely no movement of your arm, just the wrist joint. Step four. Although the gyro flow is a very addictive device, at some point you will need to know how to stop it correctly. To do this, keep a firm grip on the gyro flow and stop rotating your wrist. At this point, the yellow rotor will start slowing down. When the yellow rotor has stopped completely, it is safe to put your gyro flow down. This will maintain the precise balance of the yellow rotor for years to come.